Hi friends, I am Pastor Lucas Pina from Coco Presbyterian Church and I'm going to start all over again. Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pina and this is our snack for the journey and this week we are still in the book of Nahum. Nahum, a short book but a powerful book because Nahum is, uh, is prophesizing against Nineveh. Remember Nineveh? The God sent Jonah, the prophet Jonah, there with a message, specific message. If you do not repent, 40 days you are going to be destroyed. And they repented and, and they were not destroyed. A hundred years later, they're back in the same situation. But now there is no chance. There is no option. Now the prophecy that Nahum is delivering is the destruction, a total destruction annihilation it's it's total destruction and, and and it's a powerful it's a powerful message against one of the most powerful people uh, uh, in the world at that time it's a, they were very powerful evil people evil people so before i read the verse for today i'd like to encourage you to share this video with your friends and family help us to bless other people and uh, and also subscribe to our channel subscribe to our channel verse for today chapter 2 verse 5 2 verse 5 it's it's a powerful verse look what it says he summons his picket troops yet they they stumble on their way they dash to the city wall the protective shield is put put in place it's 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 terrible because the lord said it's i'm coming i'm coming I'm coming for you. And, and then he said, look, you, you're picking the, 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 the most powerful soldiers that you have. And at that time, they have one of the most powerful armies in the world. And I say, hey, you pick your, look what they do. They stumble. <laughs> they stumble. Their, it doesn't matter how powerful is your army. I'm coming for you. And, and it's, it's very important for us to understand that because when the Lord decide, decides to do something, it doesn't matter the powerful, the power of the army and the, and the weaponry of the, 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 the armies and whatever, it doesn't matter. If, the, if your time is up with the Lord in his clock, he's coming for you and it doesn't matter who you are, how powerful you are, how evil you are, how good are, is, are your armies or your bodyguards or whatever. It doesn't matter. That is the, the important lesson for us because sometimes say, well, we pray against the, the, that kind of government, that kind of politics and all that kind of thing, but they are so powerful. There's nothing that we can do. Hey, we can keep praying. Because for the Lord, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. The Lord is powerful. And when he decides to do something against a country, against an evil government, he will do no matter how powerful they are. And that's good news for us. It's good news for us to know that. Because this prophecy here was fulfilled. Nineveh was totally destroyed. Totally. Disappeared from the map. People didn't believe that Nineveh existed because they could not find it. <laughs> Until the excavations of the archaeologists start kind of digging, digging. Of, oh, we found something here. And that, there it was. So when God decides to do something, no matter how powerful Israel sums his picket troops, the elite, <laughs> and they stumble, and they stumble, yeah. This is what happened when the Lord decides to do something. He's a powerful God. He's our God. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.